Thursday with Syrian Foreign Minister Mualim. And I made it very clear to him that if the regime, as he argued, had nothing to hide, then their response should be immediate, immediate transparency, immediate access, not shelling. Their response needed to be unrestricted and immediate access. Failure to permit that, I told him, would tell its own story. Instead, for five days, the Syrian regime refused to allow the UN investigators access to the site of the attack that would allegedly exonerate them. Instead, it attacked the area further, shelling it and systematically destroying evidence. That is not the behavior of a government that has nothing to hide. That is not the action of a regime eager to prove to the world that it had not used chemical weapons. In fact, the regime's belated decision to allow access is too late, and it's too late to be credible. Secretary Kerry deliberately misled people about what the timeline was and stated that the timeline proved some level of guilt by the Syrian government. His claim was, we asked and the UN asked for access to the site on Thursday. They didn't grant that access until Sunday. Therefore, they were delaying for days because they were trying to hide something. They're trying to make sure that, that the inspectors can't do their job. The facts are that on that Thursday, the UN announced publicly that they were going to request access. The actual request did not arrive until Saturday when Angela Cain, the disarmament chief of the United Nations, arrived in Damascus. On Sunday, the Syrian government said, yes, the inspectors can go in. And on Monday, the inspectors were on the ground doing their work. A formal request is being sent by the United Nations to the government of Syria in this regard. And it arrived on Saturday in the form of Angela Cain. I just want to... You didn't respond to that. Angela Kane was conveying this, and, and she did arrive on Saturday. Oh.